At the start of the series, we are introduced to our main character, Xiao Qi, a high school girl who acts like a boy. She often gets into fights with students from other schools while defending her classmate. She's never had a boyfriend thanks to her parents who won't let her date, but it turns out that Xiao Qi has a fiancé. His name is Li Zhang. Although they have never seen or met each other, they are destined to get married. This is because their parents were best friends and they promised that their children would get married when they grow up. In fact, it was Xiao Qi's grandfather's wish. Ever since she was a child, her father would follow her, keeping her away from boys to make sure she wouldn't have eyes for anyone other than Li Zhang. Xiao Qi's father had to learn all kinds of martial arts to threaten and beat any boys that were around her. Because of this, the boys were scared of Xiao Qi, and the girls would idolize her. It also made it impossible for Xiao Qi to find love. One day, as Xiao Qi is in her room dreaming about love, her mother barges in and starts scolding her for being lazy. She then gives Xiao Qi a dress and tells her to get ready as there are guests in the living room. However, our tomboyish heroine doesn't like the girly dress, so she ignores her mom and goes downstairs as is. There, she sees a young man around her age. She can't take her eyes off of him because of how charming and handsome he is. Just then, her father arrives and introduces the man as her own fiancé, Li Zhang. It's then revealed that ever since his parents died in a car accident, Li Zhang has lived with his uncle in Japan. Now that his uncle's getting married, he has returned to Taiwan to finish his studies and will be staying with Xiao Qi and her family. Xiao Qi tries to talk to Li Zhang, but he quietly arranges his belongings, ignoring her. When he finally responds, he doesn't get any reply at all. Later, Xiao Qi goes to shower. She thinks one of her parents is in the bathroom and tells them to come out. But to her horror, a naked Li Zhang comes out, prompting her to run away. The next morning after breakfast, Xiao Qi's parents go to her high school to enroll Li Zhang. He will need to take a test, so the teachers give him a week to study. The results of the test will decide whether he will be admitted to the school at a grade level, or if he will have to repeat the previous school year. Back at the house, Xiao Qi's parents have to go to a wedding and plan to return the following day so that Xiao Qi and Li Zhang can have the night alone. The parents try their best to play Cupid since they really want the two to get married one day. That night, when the teenagers are alone, Li Zhang borrows Xiao Qi's book to study and makes fun of her bad grades. Annoyed by the taunts, she gives him a difficult problem to solve. She hopes that it will take him a long time to solve or be unable to solve it altogether. However, the intelligent lad is able to get the correct answer in only a matter of seconds. Xiao Qi, on the other hand, struggles for more than an hour to solve it. At this moment, she gets a brilliant idea to make Li Zhang do her homework. In return for doing so, she will cook for him. Li Zhang agrees to it, and she cooks instant noodles for him. The following morning, Xiao Qi wakes up and notices Li Zhang leaving early for school. Curious, she follows him for a while and sees him entering an abandoned house and stealing something. Just then, Xiao Qi makes a noise, and Li Zhang finds out he's being followed. But before he can confront her, the police arrive at the scene. It turns out some neighbors saw them jumping the fence and called the police. Shortly after, the cops call the owners of the house. To their shock, the owners are none other than Xiao Qi's parents. It's revealed that the abandoned house belonged to Li Zhang and his family. When his parents died and he went to Japan, the house was left to Xiao Qi's father. The latter could have sold it or rented it, and the money would have been Li Zhang's when he would have come of age, but he couldn't do so. Inside that house are all of Li Zhang's memories with his family. He was only a small child when he lost his parents, so Xiao Qi's father wanted to keep the house as they left it. So what he did is he rented the house himself and sent the money every month to Li Zhang's uncle. Back at the house, Li Zhang goes to his room while Xiao Qi's parents tell her about the house. Hearing all this, she feels bad for him and goes to give him the keys to his old house so that he doesn't have to jump the fence again. But our hero feels like Xiao Qi pities him and gets angry. Ever since he lost his parents, all his relatives pitied him, so it only made him sadder. This is why he left for Japan with his uncle. When Xiao Qi goes to give him the keys, he slams the door in her face, making her furious. They argue for a while, and our boyish and sporty heroine ends up beating up Li Zhang. She then reveals that she doesn't pity him, but his arrogance is getting on her nerves. After the outburst, she shows Li Zhang what she learned in her martial arts classes and trains him as well. She also remarks that since he is in her house, he has to act according to her rules. Once back in her room, Xiao Qi calms down and feels remorseful. However, Li Zhang doesn't get angry, as she did exactly what he needed most, not pity him and act exactly the way she normally is. She doesn't look at him with sympathy. As the two get comfortable with each other, he asks her to accompany him somewhere the next day. The following morning, they make their first stop at a studio for Li Zhang to develop some old pictures of him and his parents. After that, he takes Xiao Qi to an expensive restaurant to have lunch. Later that day at school, Li Zhang finishes his admission test in 15 minutes and gets into Class A, where the smartest kids in the school are. On their first day of school together, Xiao Qi wears her uniform including the skirt for the first time. When they are near the school and the other kids see them, Xiao Qi stops and tells Li Zhang to walk alone. 
She's afraid he'll be embarrassed to be seen with her because the other students call her brother Zhang. But Li Zhang isn't embarrassed. He doesn't care what others think. Xiao Qi is his friend, and that's all he cares about. As time passes, their bond only grows stronger. Three days a week, that is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, Li Zhang tutors Xiao Qi. Thanks to his hard work, she gets better results on her tests. But it's not enough for Li Zhang. He wants Xiao Qi to get into the top 100 students. He even makes a bet with her. If she gets into the top 100 students on the next test, he will take her to a movie. One day, Xiao Qi's mother takes her to see a fortune teller. There, she gets a red string bracelet that will supposedly come off on its own when the loved one appears in front of her. Later at school, as Xiao Qi is staring at the red bracelet, her friend Ping sees her. The latter inquires if she likes someone, but Xiao Qi denies it. Later, when Xiao Qi comes to class, she finds a bully named Dai Mao reading her journal where she has written all her feelings for Li Zhang. However, she hasn't mentioned his name. Xiao Qi realizes that the only way to know if Li Zhang also likes her or not is to confess. Doing so would also help her avoid being the talk of the school. Xiao Qi then decides to tell Li Zhang how she feels about him. But before she can do so, she overhears him talking to some classmate. He tells them that he doesn't see Xiao Qi as a girl, but as a little brother. Disappointed, our protagonist returns to the class where Dai Mao is still reading her journal and makes fun of her. Hearing that Xiao Qi is being bullied, Li Zhang runs to help her. But when he arrives at the scene, he is left in utter disbelief. Xiao Qi is holding the bully by the collar and crying. He stops her from beating the bully and hugs her in front of all of her classmates. Unfortunately, Xiao Qi pushes him away and runs outside. Later, she returns home, but it suddenly starts raining. Since she doesn't have an umbrella, she gets all wet and starts crying. But out of nowhere, Li Zhang appears in front of her and pulls her under his umbrella. He tries to get close to her by comforting her, but Xiao Qi once again pushes him away and runs home. She goes to her room and tries to cut off the red bracelet. It proves to be a little challenging, so Li Zhang, who has just arrived, cuts it off for her. He looks at Xiao Qi lovingly, knowing that she likes him. However, she can't confess her love, especially after hearing what he said earlier. After that day, she tries her best to avoid him. When rumors start to circle around the school that she likes Li Zhang and try to force him to be her boyfriend, Xiao Qi goes to her class furious. She yells at her classmates that she likes Jin Yubin, her male best friend. Xiao Qi wants Yu Bin to pretend to be her boyfriend for a while. When the rumors about her and Li Zhang stop, they will break up. Later, Ping goes to Li Zhang and honestly tells him that Xiao Qi is only pretending to date some other guy to take the attention off of her. Following this, the show goes into a flashback. When Dai Mao reads Xiao Qi's journal, she angrily ripped all the pages she had written and threw them away. But after a while, Li Zhang comes across them and reads them from top to bottom. He then realized how much she likes him. Back in the present, an annoyed Yu Bin is tired of pretending to be a fake boyfriend, so he tells everyone that he doesn't like Xiao Qi and instead has a crush on Ping. However, the latter bluntly rejects him in front of the class. Later that day, Li Zhang overhears Dai Mao talking trash about Xiao Qi. He wants to punish her for the embarrassment she caused him a few days earlier. Worried, Li Zhang immediately thinks of a plan to defuse the situation. He challenges the bully to a basketball game and beats him in front of everyone. Dai Mao is really impressed by Li Zhang's skills, and the two eventually become friends. In the following days, Li Zhang spends a lot of time with Dai Mao. It's revealed that he wants to punish Dai Mao for being rude and arrogant to the other classmates. One day, he tells the bully that he knows the password to the safe where the exam answer sheets are kept. It's exam day and Xiao Qi has been studying hard for it. She takes the test and relies on her studying, while Dai Mao relies on the answer sheet he obtained from the safe. Unfortunately for him, Li Zhang reports him to the authorities and gets him expelled from school. When the results come in, Li Zhang is, as expected, in first place. Thankfully for Xiao Qi as well, her hard work has paid off. She is in 87th place, which means she cracked the top 100. As promised, Li Zhang gives her a movie ticket and asks her to arrive at the theater on time. Unfortunately, he himself doesn't show up, and poor Xiao Qi watches the movie alone, crying. The boy next to her sees her in this state and hands her a handkerchief. Meanwhile, Li Zhang is with Dai Mao in front of the movie theater. It turns out that he was waiting for her, but Dai Mao interrupted him. Li Zhang then boldly tells the bully that they are not friends anymore and that he was simply punishing him for his cruel behavior. In the meantime, when Xiao Qi is leaving, she sees Li Zhang with the person who bullied her and becomes heartbroken and leaves the scene. Li Zhang runs after her, but so does Dai Mao. This makes our protagonist very angry, so he grabs the bully by the collar and threatens to push him off the bridge. After scaring Dai Mao, Li Zhang lets him go and tells him to disappear from his sight. Following this, he catches up with Xiao Qi and apologizes for keeping her waiting. In response, she tearfully confesses that she likes him a lot. She didn't reveal this earlier, as she was afraid he would reject her. 
After confessing, Xiao Qi looks at him and asks about his feelings. Unfortunately, Li Zhang, who clearly likes her, can't find the words to express how he feels. He can only tell Xiao Qi that he really cares about her. Hearing this, a distraught Xiao Qi knows what she has to do. She promises Li Zhang that she won't be awkward around him. She will stop liking him, but will always be his friend, his family. From that day onwards, the two become close again. Li Zheng waits for Xiao Qi to finish her class to walk home together, while she keeps him company when he is alone at school. As an athlete, Xiao Qi also has to focus on her training. She is a runner, so she often practices at school while Li Zheng accompanies her. She trains hard and pushes herself to her limits. One day while running, she hurts her ankle. Li Zheng sees this and carries her to the hospital. But there's a lot of pressure on Xiao Qi's shoulders. A race is approaching and everyone expects her to win, but Xiao Qi isn't sure she can. So she uses her injury to her advantage and lies to her parents that she didn't register for the upcoming race. The following day, Li Zheng skips school to accompany Xiao Qi. As they talk, she explains that except for running, she has never done anything that made her parents proud. She fears that if she doesn't win the race, her parents will become upset. However, Li Zheng quickly comforts her and mentions that her parents will always support her no matter what, so she should just focus on running and giving her best. On the day of the race, Li Zheng once again skips school to go see Xiao Qi run. When he arrives, he is shocked to learn that she is in last place. But when Xiao Qi spots him in the audience, she becomes motivated and starts running faster. Eventually, she beats all her opponents and emerges victorious. This makes both of them excited, and they start celebrating their hearts out. For the next couple of days, Xiao Qi finds it hard to stop thinking about Li Zhang. Every time she closes her eyes, she only sees him. Seeing her in this condition, her best friend Ping decides to do something. She invites Xiao Qi to lunch, but it turns out Ping has invited a handsome guy for her best friend to hook up with. He is Wang Jin Li, the same guy who handed her the handkerchief when she was crying at the movie theater. Jin Li recognizes Xiao Qi and immediately begins to flirt with her. Things intensify when they realize that they play an online game together when they recognize each other's aliases. After the date, Jin Li drops her off at home and at the same time, Li Zhang also arrives. Xiao Qi, who appears to be in a good mood, introduces the boys to each other. She wants them to become friends, but it's evident that Li Zhang is a bit envious of the new guy. In the next scene, Jin Li's backstory is revealed. When he returns home, he gets an earful from his father, who is a rich businessman. Apparently, his father wants him to take over the business, but Jin Li doesn't want to. He wants to live his own life, do things his own way, and not be constrained by his family's expectations. After an argument with his father, Jin Li goes to the supermarket alone. Xiao Qi, who also happens to be there, sees him and gives him some sweets to make him feel better. She also gives him a note, thanking him for bringing her home. The next day, Jin Li shows up at her school riding his motorcycle. He is carrying a lunchbox and says that she spelled his name wrong in the note. He then leaves his contact information, saying that he will pick her up after school. Meanwhile, Li Zhang sees everything, and his face is ripe with jealousy. Jin Li picks up Xiao Qi after class as planned. He admits that he likes her, but this only provokes our heroine. She beats him up, questioning how he can like a person he just met a couple of days ago. Surprisingly, her sassiness makes Jin Li like her even more. He then tells her not to make any plans for the weekend, as he will be taking her to the movies. Li Zhang, on the other hand, can't concentrate at all after seeing Xiao Qi with Jin Li, and it makes his imagination run wild. Everywhere he looks, he sees the two together. On his way home, Li Zhang sees Xiao Qi and becomes happy. But his happiness is cut short when Jin Li calls her to add her on social media. The next day at school, he overhears Ping convincing Xiao Qi to go on a date with Jin Li. This angers our handsome protagonist so much that he finally decides to intervene. So, Li Zhang finds a way to stop the date by talking to Xiao Qi's father. He offers to buy them an anniversary present for their upcoming anniversary. But there's one condition. Xiao Qi will have to accompany him. As a result, the latter is forced to spend her weekend with Li Zhang instead of going on a date with Jin Li. Later, Xiao Qi calls Jin Li, explaining her predicament and apologizing for canceling their plans. Jin Li understands and reveals that he too was busy on the weekend, as he had an emergency meeting with his father. In the next scene, Xiao Qi spends the weekend with Li Zhang and buys a present for her parents' anniversary. After walking for some time in high heels, she injures her leg. When Li Zhang learns this, he scolds her for enduring the pain instead of telling him that she was hurt. In the meantime, Jin Li has a corporate meeting with his brother, who introduces him to a potential business partner. She is Mrs. Chen, a renowned business tycoon who has come to the meeting with her daughter, Angelina. Jin Li learns that his father has arranged for him to marry Angelina, as their bond would profit both companies. Realizing that his father has once again interjected in his life without his consent, Jin Li leaves the meeting. Angelina follows him as she too shares her disinterest in adopting her mother's plans. She then invites him to hop in her car. On the other hand, Li Zhang carries Xiao Qi on his back and buys her a pair of running shoes. He acts just like her boyfriend, but doesn't reveal how he feels about her. Later while crossing the road, Xiao Qi gets hit by a car. 
It turns out that the reckless driver is none other than Angelina, who wasn't paying attention while driving. Xiao Qi is immediately taken to the hospital. Even though she survives, she is left with many challenges to overcome in her recovery and isn't sure if she will be able to run again. Angelina's mother arrives at the hospital and apologizes to Xiao Qi. She offers to pay the medical bills and get Xiao Qi the best doctor in the city. Meanwhile, Li Zhang blames himself for the car accident. Xiao Qi wouldn't have been hurt had he not brought her there to buy an anniversary gift. He can't sleep without dreaming about the accident, let alone look at Xiao Qi's running shoes without seeing them filled with blood. To make matters worse, the event triggers Li Zhang's worst memory, the time his parents died in a car accident. Li Zhang feels that because of him and because of the shoes he gave to Xiao Qi, she got into an accident and hurt her leg. As a result, he avoids seeing her at the hospital and also throws away the shoes. When Xiao Qi is finally discharged, she looks for the shoes. Later, when Li Zhang sees her searching for them in the trash, he helps her find them. The next day, her parents leave early, saying that they have urgent matters to take care of. Now that Xiao Qi and Li Zhang are alone, he can no longer avoid his feelings. Li Zhang tells Xiao Qi why he's been acting weird, but she scolds him for not treating her as a friend. In the middle of this conversation, Xiao Qi's stomach starts to hurt and Li Zhang hears weird noises. He has to carry her to the Lu to exercise her demons. Jin Li is worried sick about Xiao Qi's health, but her parents won't let him visit her at the house. So he offers to work at their shop so he'll be able to see Xiao Qi. Seeing his love for her daughter, Xiao Qi's mother hires him as a volunteer at the shop. However, Li Zhang and Xiao Qi's father aren't happy about this. Slowly, Xiao Qi starts to recover. She goes for a walk, gradually getting back to normal. One time, Li Zhang offers to go for a walk with her, but their alone time is interrupted by Jin Li. The latter announces that he broke up with his girlfriend just so he can pursue Xiao Qi. He then confesses his love for her right in front of Li Zhang, who can be seen reeling from jealousy. Consequently, the two boys fight, and Jin Li points out that Li Zhang isn't Xiao Qi's boyfriend, which is why he doesn't have any right to get in between them. This hits our handsome protagonist hard, so he abruptly leaves. Fast forward to New Year's Eve. Xiao Qi is upset because she hasn't recovered enough to be able to go to see the fireworks. Thankfully, Li Zhang is there to save the day. He has bought fireworks and takes her to a park near their house to set them off, making Xiao Qi very happy. Since they are alone at the house that night, Xiao Qi cooks something with alcohol. After one bowl, she gets drunk and tells Li Zhang her biggest secret. Xiao Qi reveals that she promised herself not to pursue him anymore and only treat him as a friend, but she is secretly in love with him. Hearing this, Li Zhang can't hide his feelings anymore and lunges forward to kiss her. However, she pushes him away and bites his ear in retaliation. When Xiao Qi finally falls asleep, Li Zhang takes her to her room. There, she sleep talks and reveals her New Year's wish, that she wishes to go to the same university as him. Li Zhang is a bit emotional after hearing this, but he promises to fulfill her wish. The following day, despite her injuries, Xiao Qi decides to participate in an upcoming race. This is because she doesn't want to live life with limits and instead wants to live life to the fullest. On race day, she initially performs well but soon her injured leg causes her to fall behind. When Li Zhang notices this, he hurries to her and helps her cross the finish line. Embarrassed by her performance, Xiao Qi hugs Li Zhang and cries. He consoles her and tries his best to make her feel better. As days pass by, their bond only grows stronger. Since the college tests are upcoming, Li Chang wakes up So Qi every morning. He makes sure she eats what she needs and takes the vitamins she has to. And every day after breakfast, they go out for a walk. Then he tutors her and makes sure she studies hard. Even when Jin Li wants to take Xiao Qi out to unwind, Li Zhang doesn't let him. After all that studying, Li Zhang finally takes Xiao Qi out to play and relax a bit. While waiting for the bus to go home, she feels cold, but Li Zhang again springs into action and gives her his jacket. Tired, Xiao Qi falls asleep on the bus. Li Zhang is afraid that she might hit her head on the window, so he pulls her on his shoulder. However, Xiao Qi falls asleep on his lap and drools on his pants. Later, as they prepare to get off the bus, the driver suddenly slams on the brakes. Li Zhang immediately catches Xiao Qi, saving her from falling. But while pulling her over, they accidentally end up kissing. That night, after their first impromptu kiss, Xiao Qi doesn't feel so well. She is understandably sad. She loves Li Zhang, but believes that he doesn't feel the same. On the other hand, Li Zhang can't stop smiling. Cut to the graduation day. Xiao Qi's male best friend Yu Bin confesses his feelings for Ping once again, but he gets rejected this time as well. Heartbroken, he tries to find comfort in someone and ends up approaching Li Zhang. However, our hero isn't interested in his story. But when Yu Bin says that he's afraid Ping might like someone else, Li Zhang suddenly realizes something. Xiao Qi might also like someone else at the college she enters. 
In the meantime, Xiao Qi goes to the school's rooftop and makes a paper airplane, on which she has written that she will stop liking Li Zhang after graduating high school. Coincidentally, Li Zhang finds the paper plane and reads it. He runs over to where Xiao Qi is, but before he can confess or say anything, Xiao Qi grabs him by the neck and kisses him. She needed this kiss to move on with her life. She then tells Li Zhang that she has secretly liked him all this time, even when she promised she wouldn't. Now that she has graduated from high school, Xiao Qi wants to start a new chapter in her life. Understandably, Li Zhang doesn't want her to do that, so he hugs her and tries to confess his feelings too. Unfortunately, Xiao Qi's father interrupts them to take a graduation photo. Later at the house, Xiao Qi's father has a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Li Zhang. He asks the boy if he likes his daughter. Li Zhang doesn't say anything as he doesn't know how to respond to the question. In response, the concerned father asks Li Zhang to think carefully and only date Xiao Qi if he is absolutely sure that he likes her. Following this, Li Zhang applies to the same university as Xiao Qi, and both of them get admitted, hence fulfilling her New Year's wish. One day, Li Zhang's uncle arrives to see how he's doing. As soon as he enters the house, Xiao Qi's parents apologize for not taking care of Li Zhang, who didn't get into the university he was meant to. But when his uncle hears that Li Zhang got into the same university as Xiao Qi, he understands the situation right away. Later, Li Zhang confides in his uncle that he isn't sure if he likes Xiao Qi or sees her as a friend. The only thing he is sure about is that he doesn't want to lose her. Meanwhile, Xiao Qi thinks otherwise. She has to move on and forget her feelings for Li Zhang. Since she can't do that while living with him in the same house, she asks her parents' permission to move out. They're a bit skeptical about the idea, but after a lot of convincing, they give in. When Li Zhang learns of this, he moves to the same place as her. In the next scene, Xiao Qi is shocked to learn that her new housemates are none other than Yu Bin and Li Zhang. She wanted to forget Li Zhang and move on with her life, but he isn't going to give up on her. That night, Xiao Qi can't sleep as it's her first night away from home. She goes to the balcony, only to find Li Zhang there. It turns out he couldn't sleep either. Having no choice, she talks to him. Li Zhang shares how he felt when he first moved into Xiao Qi's house, about his parents, and about the song Close to You, which they both listen to often. Every time Li Zhang or Xiao Qi feel uneasy or something is troubling them, the song calms them down like it has some kind of special meaning to them. It's also revealed that the song was played at Li Zhang's parents' wedding. On the first day as a college student, Xiao Qi is optimistic that she will make new friends and won't have to face bullies like Dei Mao. Unfortunately, three of the mean girls from her high school with whom she used to fight are in her class. Even Yu Bin and Angelina are there. Later, Xiao Qi learns the tradition of the university where seniors each pick a junior and help them with their studies. In the meantime, we learn that Jin Li is at the same university. When he learns of Xiao Qi's arrival, he makes a plan to be her senior mentor. After a lot of hard work, he eventually succeeds and he manages to get Xiao Qi's name on his list of juniors. One day, as Jin Li is walking her home, he suddenly asks her to date him. He claims that he will keep her happy and healthy, but to his dismay, she rejects him instantly. Jin Li begs for her to give him a chance and promises that he will treat her right. However, Xiao Qi mentions that every time she sees a person that she likes, she hears a song in her heart. When Jin Li learns of this, a cunning idea strikes his mind. He gets close to Xiao Qi and turns on his phone so that she can hear the song and accept him. However, our clever girl catches wind of the deceit and becomes angry. She tries to snatch the phone and turn it off, and at the same time, Li Zhang arrives at the scene. As expected, he is extremely jealous, but he doesn't say or do anything. He simply tells Xiao Qi that she is blocking the door and goes inside. Meanwhile, Jin Li is shocked when he finds out that Xiao Qi and Li Zhang are living as neighbors. Although he can't do anything at night, he can stop Xiao Qi from spending too much time with Li Zhang during the day, so he tells her that he will pick her up at 7 a.m. to get breakfast together. While on his way home, Jin Li bumps into Yu Bin and learns that he lives next door to Xiao Qi and Li Zhang. This gives him yet another idea. He asks Yu Bin to exchange apartments for a few months. The latter is a bit skeptical, but when he finds out that Jin Li lives in a luxurious flat, he agrees right away. The next morning, Xiao Qi wakes up to a thudding sound next door. She goes to Yu Bin's room, thinking it's him who is disturbing her this early. But to her surprise, Jin Li shows up and excitedly tells her that he is her new housemate. After rearranging his furniture, he takes Xiao Qi out for breakfast. He gives her all the information a new student needs about her teachers and the good places to eat around campus. Suddenly, a jealous Li Zhang interrupts him and joins them for breakfast. He simply can't leave Xiao Qi alone with Jin Li. Enraged, the rich guy directly tells Li Zhang that if he likes Xiao Qi, he should just confess. Otherwise, he should not interfere in her business. Hearing this, Xiao Qi feels awkward and hits him. However, Li Zhang realizes that he is right. He knows that he just can't keep Xiao Qi in limbo. Either it is him with her, or her with someone else. So after a lot of thinking, Li Zhang decides to keep his distance. He is afraid he might lose her as a friend in case they break up. Therefore, he tells Xiao Qi that it's best for them to make new friends. Li Zhang also explains that he has already started spending time with his new classmates, including a girl named Bei Bei, who seems to like him. 
For the next couple of days, Li Zhang avoids Xiao Qi. He isn't ready to lose her as a friend, and because of that, he is scared of confessing. One day, she comes home and sees Li Zhang has invited some friends over, including Bei Bei. He introduces Xiao Qi as just his high school friend who has now become his housemate. This deeply hurts our protagonist girl, but she hides her emotions and offers them some drinks. Bei Bei then approaches Xiao Qi and talks to her about her new relationship. In return, Xiao Qi lies that she and Li Zhang are just close friends with no special attachments. At the same time, Li Chong overhears the two girls talking and doesn't like what Xiao Qi just said. However, he can't do anything about it, as he is the one who put them in such a predicament. The following day, Xiao Qi is approached by two of her classmates who invite her to join their study group. The girls plan to eat barbecue together later that night. Unfortunately, the three mean girls don't let that happen as they enjoy bullying Xiao Qi. They want to make her feel alone and miserable during her college years. For their first step, the mean girls manipulate Xiao Qi's classmates to abandon their barbecue party. That evening, Xiao Qi waits alone for hours at the restaurant. Meanwhile, the mean girls and their classmates are attending a karaoke party where Angelina and Jin Li are also present. When the two find out about the mean girls' trick, they defend Xiao Qi, and Jin Li even goes to keep her company at the restaurant. In the next scene, he brings her home and insists on listening to her troubles. However, Xiao Qi isn't ready to open up to him. It's almost as if she's trying to keep her distance from him. When the conversation gets really awkward, Jin Li hugs her from behind. Unfortunately, the timing turns out to be very bad as Li Zhang arrives home and sees them. The moment she hears his voice, Xiao Qi's mind goes blank and she immediately throws Jin Li to the ground. However, Li Zhang completely ignores them and goes inside. For the next couple of days, Xiao Qi continues to be the target of the Mean Girls. She is made an outcast at college. Since she doesn't have any friends, she feels miserable. Hence, she starts skipping a number of classes. When her direct senior Jin Li finds out about this, he goes to look for her and even asks Li Zhang for help. It turns out that Xiao Qi went to see her only friend, Ping, but she doesn't explain her situation, fearing it will only complicate things. However, Ping eventually realizes that something is wrong, so she calls Yu Bin. It is through her that he learns that Xiao Qi is being bullied by the three mean girls. That night, Xiao Qi goes home to her parents and surprisingly, Li Zhang is also there. They talk for a while and have dinner together like a family again. After that, the two return home to their apartment. Once there, Jin Li introduces some of his friends to Xiao Qi, hoping to cheer her up, while Li Zhang goes to his room. Xiao Qi pretends to enjoy their company, but she feels lonely inside. After spending some time with them, she goes to the balcony and meets with Li Zhang again. She finally opens up with them, talking about her situation at school. Li Zhang encourages her not to back down, but instead stand up and fight to the end, like she always has. The next day at school, the mean girls try their best to make Xiao Qi miserable, but she fights back, smiling at them. Moreover, she now has friends on her side. When the teacher comes in, asking if anyone is interested in being in the same study group as her, Angelina and Yu Bin raise their hand. Another girl named Hong Rong is also placed in the same group. That evening, Angelina, Yu Bin, and Han Rong come over to Xiao Qi's room to start their project. Jin Li also offers to help, since he will get a chance to work with Xiao Qi. Just when everything seems to be going smoothly for Xiao Qi, Li Zhang comes home with Bei Bei. As a result, she has difficulties focusing on her project. That night, while studying in her room alone, Xiao Qi suddenly hears a noise. Scared, she goes to Li Zhang for help. It turns out that there's a mouse lurking around. Li Zhang comes to her room to catch the rodent, but Xiao Qi gets scared and jumps right into his arms. Consequently, they fall on the bed on top of each other. Xiao Qi wants to get up, but Li Zhang pulls her back to his chest. He then lies to her that if she gets up, the mouse could attack them. Eventually, Xiao Qi gets up and sends Li Zhang to his room for the night. When he looks around, he sees the shoes he gave to Xiao Qi. He also sees a doll that he had given her before. When he presses the doll's hand, he hears Xiao Qi's voice. It turns out that she had recorded her voice on the doll a while ago, saying that she likes Li Zhang. In the meantime, Jin Li can't fall asleep, so he goes to Xiao Qi's room and passes notes to her under the door. From Xiao Qi's room, Lin Zhang answers the notes coldly, pretending to be her. He even blows dust on Jin Li's eyes and makes him return to his room. The following morning, Jin Li prepares breakfast and goes to wake up Xiao Qi in her room, only to find Lin Zhang there. At the same time, Xiao Qi comes out of another room, further confusing him. However, they don't interact with each other and simply get ready for school. That day, Xiao Qi and her friends work hard to complete their project, but Han Rong is nowhere to be seen. A few hours later, she arrives just when the mean girls are ready to present their project. Surprisingly, they inform the teacher that Han Rong was bullied by her project teammates, so she asks them to come to their group. Hearing this, Angelina Yubin and Xiao Qi are shocked. They didn't bully Han Rong, and without her, their presentation will definitely fail. 
To make matters worse, they discover that the Mean Girls have stolen their project with the help of Hong Rong. In other words, she was a snitch. When Xiao Qi presents his information to the teacher, both groups are taken to the headmaster for further investigation. Moments later, Angelina's mother arrives at the scene. Angelina reveals that she got some secret information from her mother's company, so there is no way the Mean Girls could have access to the same information. The woman confirms her daughter's story and even says that she has to go back to talk to the company lawyers about the situation. Realizing they are about to be caught, the Mean Girls fold and put the blame on Han Rong. However, Xiao Qi defends her, saying she's innocent. Then it is finally revealed that she did all of this because she was constantly bullied by the Mean Girls. Following this, Han Rong apologizes to the team. She tells them that she was bullied or attacked in school, but they were the first ones who remembered her name and treated her like a human being. Additionally, she didn't want to give the project to the main girls, but they threatened her. After that day, Han Rong doesn't return to school. Later, she sends a letter to Xiao Qi explaining that she took time off school and will retake the entrance exam next year to become an actress. Thanks to Xiao Qi, she now has the confidence to pursue her dreams. One day when Xiao Qi and Li Zhang leave together for school, she stops to look at a necklace. She likes it, but it's too expensive and doesn't buy it. However, Li Zhang comes back later and secretly gets it for her. In the next scene, we learn that it's Bei Bei's birthday. Li Zhang gives her a present, but Xiao Qi misunderstands it, thinking he gave her the necklace she likes. But in reality, Li Zhang gives Bei Bei the keychain he received for free when he bought the necklace. Later that night at the house, Li Zhang gets ready to give the necklace to Xiao Qi. But suddenly, Bei Bei appears and says that she has bought him a present in return for the birthday gift she received. The next day at school, we learn that Xiao Qi's department will go on a freshman camping trip. But because he doesn't want Jin Li and Xiao Qi alone, Li Zhang arranges for his department to go camping on the same day at the same place. During their trip on the bus, he keeps a seat beside him open for Xiao Qi, hoping that they can chat for a while. However, when she comes near him, Jin Li suddenly pulls her over to his seat. Due to this, Bei Bei has a chance to sit with Li Zhang. Once they reach the camp, Xiao Qi approaches Li Zhang and becomes curious why his class would come to that camp on the same day as hers. She thinks that it could be because he likes Bei Bei. However, it turns out that Li Zhang has come all this way just so he can stop Jin Li. This is because the latter met Jin Li before the camp, and he promised that he will confess his feelings to Xiao Qi once again. Meanwhile, we learn that there's a tradition that takes place at the camp every year. During a song in front of the campfire, every girl and every boy can confess to the one he she likes. Both Jin Li and Li Zhang go over to Xiao Qi and ask her to dance with them, but she rejects them angrily and insists that Yu Bin dance with her. At the same time, Bei Bei approaches Li Zhang and confesses her feelings to him, but as expected, he rejects her, saying he already has someone he likes. Bei Bei realizes that he's talking about Xiao Qi, and a cunning idea strikes her mind. She hugs Li Zhang tightly, making it seem like they're a couple. Her plan eventually works, as Xiao Qi notices them and storms out in anger. A little while later, Jin Li finds her in a distraught state and tries to console her. He even makes jokes so that she will smile. However, when Xiao Qi doesn't show any reaction, Jin Li realizes that she's deeply in love with Li Zhang, and there isn't any chance for him. Later, Li Zhang gets so drunk that he can barely walk. Xiao Qi takes him to his room, and there, he finally confesses his feelings and kisses her. The following morning when Li Zhang wakes up, Bei Bei comes over to check on him. She lies that she was the one who took care of him the other night. Additionally, she also tells him that he kissed her and said that he likes her. At the same time, Xiao Qi overhears everything and sees the two preparing to kiss. Li Zhang is confused because he clearly remembers doing so with Xiao Qi. He then tries to kiss Bei Bei to clear the confusion, but cannot. To make sure Li Zhang and Xiao Qi don't have a chance to talk and clear the misunderstanding, Bei Bei follows him everywhere. She can't let him discover that she lied about the other night. Once back from camping, Li Zhang approaches Xiao Qi as he wants to talk to her. However, being the good friend that she is, Angelina doesn't let him. It turns out that she also knows about Li Zhang trying to kiss Bei Bei. Following this, Angelina takes Xiao Qi away to make her feel better. When she returns, she confronts Li Zhang and suggests that he get an eye checkup because they are not functioning properly, metaphorically referring to him believing Bei Bei's lies. On the other hand, Bei Bei's facade continues as she lies that she lost an important earring at Li Zhang's house when she was there for a project. She insists on coming over to get it while trying to make things worse for Xiao Qi and Li Zhang. However, our handsome protagonist realizes that it was Xiao Qi who he had confessed to and kissed back at the camp. He even scolds Bei Bei for lying to him. Upset that Li Zhang doesn't like her back and only kept her close to make Xiao Qi jealous, Bei Bei gets her revenge. The moment she sees Xiao Qi, she kisses Li Zhang. When Jin Li notices all this going down, he takes Xiao Qi away and comforts her. After all, she is the first girl he really liked. Xiao Qi feels a little better, so she opens up her bottled feelings. 
Seeing her in so much pain, Jin Lee's heart is breaking too. He wants to get close and kiss her, but he can't do that. He knows that Xiao Qi and Li Zhang like each other, so the only thing Jin Lin can do is be there for her. Later, he confronts Li Zhang at a park and the two start fighting. Jin Li reveals how Xiao Qi was crying earlier because of what she saw. Hearing this, Li Zhang finally calms down and he too opens up to Jin Li. It turns out that he always regretted not having confessed to Xiao Qi during their school days. Meanwhile, Xiao Qi has had enough. She wants to move on for good this time, so she returns to her parents' house. Later, Jin Li takes her on a date where they spend quality time together as friends. Realizing that Xiao Qi really likes Li Zhang, Jin Li decides to give up on her and only wishes the best for her. Following this, it's revealed that Jin Li met Bei Bei earlier and told her that he wants to work together. The latter believed him and quickly confessed to all the crimes she had committed. Unbeknownst to her, Jin Li managed to record everything using his phone. In the present, Xiao Qi hears the recording and breathes a sigh of relief. She finally realizes how manipulative and cruel Bei Bei really is. After this, Jin Li gives her a doll in which Li Zhang recorded himself confessing to her. It turns out that he had recorded it the night that Xiao Qi found a mouse in her room. After a while, Jin Li takes her home and tells her to take care of herself. When Li Zhang arrives home that night, he sees Xiao Qi, hugs her, and finally confesses his feelings in person. Now that they are dating, Li Zhang and Xiao Qi walk to college together holding hands. A few days later, Ping and Angelina help Xiao Qi prepare food for Li Zhang's birthday. Jin Li and Yu Bin are also there to celebrate. Everyone is happy except Jin Li. Although he is happy for Xiao Qi, he is also understandably upset that he couldn't be with her. Since he needs some time to move on, he leaves the premises. But Angelina, who has been liking him from the day she met him, follows him and wants to help. While they're talking, she comes closer to him and abruptly kisses him. Everyone notices this shocking event which embarrasses Jin Li, so he hurriedly leaves the scene. Elsewhere, Jin Li tells Angelina that he doesn't want to use her just to forget about Xiao Qi, so it will be better for them to forget about the kiss they had. However, Angelina is not ready to leave him. She says that it's her choice who she likes and she will decide when to move on. Then, she kisses Jin Li once again. Angelina asserts that he's not allowed to forget this moment, and if he does, she will kiss him again. One day while on her way home, Xiao Qi sees one of the mean girls from her college being harassed by two boys. Unable to stand by and let it happen, she immediately springs into action and fights off the boys. Meanwhile, we can see Bebe secretly filming the whole incident from the distance. Unfortunately, Bebe uploads the video of Xiao Qi beating up the two boys, and everyone from the college sees it. She later approaches Xiao Qi, telling her that she was the one who took the video. Bebe then sees the three mean girls close by. She pretends to fall as if Xiao Qi pushed her. Seeing this, the bullies also prepare to fight. The girl Xiao Qi helped the other day tries to stop her friends, but to no avail. Thankfully, Li Zhang, Angelina, and Yubin arrive to help our heroine. They show the video of Xiao Qi beating those boys, and the two mean girls realize that there was another person besides Xiao Qi. At this moment, the girl who Xiao Qi helped finally steps in and tells everyone the truth. She tells her two friends that her ex-boyfriend and his friend were harassing her and beating her when Xiao Qi came to save her. Hearing this, the two mean girls apologize to Xiao Qi and thank her for helping their friend. For the next few days, things go smoothly for the couple. But one morning, the bully from high school, Dae Mao, calls Xiao Qi and delivers some shocking information. He says that it was Li Zhang who got him expelled from school years ago. He also mentions the fact that Li Zhang threatened to push him over a bridge if he didn't stay away from them. Of course, Xiao Qi doesn't believe it, but she is confused herself, as she had seen Li Zhang earlier that day at the police station, which was around the time Bei Bei was hurt. It's revealed that Bei Bei, who is unconscious at the hospital right now, had been attacked by an unknown person, and Li Zhang is the primary suspect, as he was the last one to text her. But her doubt is soon cleared when Bei Bei wakes up and reveals the truth. It turns out that a guy from her class had a crush on her. When he confessed, Bei Bei humiliated him in front of everyone. This angered him so much that he brutally assaulted her. But fortunately, Li Zhang arrived around the same time to take Bei Bei to the hospital. Time passes and Xiao Qi, Li Zhang, and their friends finish university, including a girl named Bei Bei. The final scene of the series shows the couple moving back to Xiao Qi's parents and living happily ever after.